an abdominal incision is made into the abdomen. Usually, the layers of the abdominal wall are opened and extended to allow room for delivery of the baby. The patient may be aware of a tugging sensation, but it should not be painful. A retractor is placed in the inferior aspect of the incision to hold the bladder out of the way and to protect it. The surgeon will then cut an incision into the lower segment of the uterus. The amniotic sac is then opened and the surgeon will now be able to deliver the baby. If the baby is born in good condition and the surgical team have no concerns, delayed cord clamping can be implemented to maximize the oxygenated blood that reaches the baby. The baby can then be checked by the midwife or pediatrician. Skin to skin contact can be supported in the operating theater if the mother chooses. The placenta will then be delivered and checked. It may take longer to recover after a caesarean section than a vaginal birth. If both mother and baby are doing well, they can normally go home the following day and continue to receive care and support from their midwife and GP.